Hello everyone, welcome back to RGB Tech. Today we're going to look at the ultimate PDF editing app, Wondershare's PDF Element 11. With it, you can edit PDFs, you can convert your PDF to different file formats like Microsoft Word, and you could even use the magic of AI to summarize your entire PDF. Those are just a few of the features that we're gonna look at. Basically, if you end up doing any work with PDFs, this app is a must have. Let's check this out. To get PDF Element 11, head to the following website. You can click on the card in the top right hand corner or also the link down below in the description. Once you land on this website, click on the button that says free download and that'll kick off the download process. You'll be able to try out the software to test out all the different capabilities. If you end up working with PDFs often, you'll also want to consider some of the paid plans that unlock all of the advanced functionality. Once you finish installing PDF Element 11, you'll see an interface that looks like this. All recent files will be displayed here. On left, we have some options. You can open PDF or you can create PDF. And at the top, we have set of tools that help you very quickly start working on PDFs. If you go to all tools, you'll find a lot more over here from each section. Like you can edit PDF, convert PDF to different formats like to Word, Excel, you can create and also here, the batch process, batch convert, OCR, and a lot more to talk. Also the AI tools, you can summarize, translate, and there are a lot more cool features. I'll show you all this in this video. All right, I'll close this tab. Simply open, I'll open PDF document. Or you can simply drag and drop your PDF document over here. It will directly get opened, all right. And this opens up my PDF. Looking at this PDF document, it's going to need a little bit of work upon top on home tab. I have some most common tools like magnification. You can zoom in, zoom out the PDF, highlight option. Like let's say if I wanna highlight this text, like you can highlight some words in PDF. You can add shapes to highlight on PDF. Let's choose oval here, highlight, also the arrow right here. I can highlight the image right here. All right, let's add check mark over here. Okay, it's good actually. Here there is an edit all option. Like you can edit text, image, link, let me edit the text here. You can also add image or you can replace the image, adjust the image. You can add text on PDF. Here there is an option called OCR. This stands for optical character recognition. So what does that mean? Basically the computer will look at this text and understand what the text is so I can edit it. Crop option. You can actually crop margins of the PDF. Search option to find words. On more, there is a screenshot. Translate, you can translate the selected text into the target language. Let's say if I wanna translate this text into other language. Here's select language. You can try different languages. You can copy the text and use it. Now it looks perfect. Also one more PDF translator. Set page range, translate and save. It starts to process and translate. There we go, it got translated pretty well, everything. There is a template option. There are lots of templates available, like if you want in tax form. You can create resumes for jobs, businesses. You can directly use these templates on edit things on it. 2024 planner, birthday wishes, invoice, and there are a lot more others. On the top right, there is an AI assistant with some pretty useful, cool AI functions. Let's open AI chat with PDF. You can ask AI some questions related to PDF. Like let's say if I want to summarize the content of PDF to AI and boom, it actually generated the summarize the text in short in the same way you can ask different questions related to it. Here are some suggested questions from the PDF. Let's say if I ask, how does customer service impact user experience? It can generate the information related to the product based on the data of the PDF. It can actually take the context from the PDF and generates the data from it. All right. It's very useful for those who manage large PDFs using AI. There is a chat with AI option, which can generate the information data outside the PDF. Let me ask, give me three new year resolution ideas. There we go. It gives ideas. On bottom, there is quick prompt option. Like if I want to check the grammar, select the text. It displays over here, send prompt it will make some changes in the text. You can rewrite the text or you can explain, summarize the content of the PDF. If I ask about custom marketing, 
it generates the information on it. It's actually very useful. You can also check whether if the text is AI generated or not, it detects text content. All right, on here you can convert this PDF into Word document or even on other formats. There is an edit option. Same I mentioned in the beginning, you can add text. Also, you can add images on PDF, add links to the PDF, add the link any of web page or site, apply. Here the link will be attached. If you click on it, it will redirect to the browser. All right, you can also add watermarks text on PDF, add the text, select font style you want, customize it and apply add background to the PDF. You can also add header to the PDF, like book name or whatever name. On more, you can add page numbers to the PDF or the batch number. Let's go to comment section. You can highlight text on PDF in different colors. You can highlight some important context on it. You can highlight the area or a paragraph of text pencil option. You can directly add text comments to it on lines. You can add text box. You can add shapes. You can also add sticky notes based on the particular context. And there is option to add stamps on PDF. You can add digital stamps, stamp signs, or you can create your own custom stamp. Like, let me consider this PDF as an approved one. You can add this stamp to it. I'll add the other one, information only. All right, you can use different stamps as you want based on your work. Here I'll create my own stamp. Simply add your brand logo image stamp. Select the category. Select OK. You can add your custom font, that's simple. You can also add the dynamic stamps to it based on the time and date, based on the condition of the PDF file whether if still need to be revised or for the approval or whatsoever. You can also add signatures. You can upload your O sign or create from here itself. Simply I'll create my sign. Customize it. Now place the sign on the PDF or you can create digital type fonts to it. All right. You can also attach any file or any other document to the PDF. Like if I want to attach a photo, set the permission like the WAV file to be opened. Select yes. All right, the attachment image gets opened. You can create the notes and there is an option to hide unhide comments. All right, so on convert option, you can create PDF. I mean, you can convert other file formats into PDF. Like you can convert Word to PDF, Excel to PDF or any other formatted document. You can also convert PDF to image or to text. And there are a couple of more options to convert based on your requirements. You can convert batch of PDF files into one file or based on the other format. Here I'll add more document files, select the output format and apply. There is a view on top, same we already know this basic functions. There is a read option. Using your text company. to speech, it reads the entire PDF document. Your street, your city, ST 12345 and So 90. select the reading voice your output company. you want. Select the speech feed, apply. 123, 456 to and there are some couple of other basic functions in this section. In the organized section, you can edit manage PDF pages. You can split PDF. You can even replace the replace the page labels of it. In tools section, we have OCR, as I mentioned earlier in this video. To apply OCR first, you need to save this PDF. In options, select language, set page range and apply. It starts to process, OCR gets processed. This stands for optical character recognition. So what does that mean? Basically, the computer will look at this text and understand what the text is so I can edit it. All right, as you can see, the text gets recognized. You can combine multiple PDFs into single PDF document. You can also compare both the PDFs to find if there are any similarities or differences on them. You can compress the PDF to reduce the file size. Flatten and you can do a lot. In form section, you can able to add, basically you can add buttons, check boxes. Radio button, you can add digital signature fields on it based on the activity you want to do with the PDF. You can actually send this PDF as a form to the other users to get signed. Number of users interacted with this PDF form or whatsoever. You can use it for form submission. Okay, and there, a protect option. It's actually pretty useful for those who want to protect PDF file for security. Select encrypt. 
You can set the password to your PDF. You can also set permission password, like for if you want to edit or modify some changes to PDF, then the permission code will be required. That's all about it, all right? Set permission for the PDF to be opened. Set encryption level. I'll choose 256-bit AES. Save. Now if I open this PDF document again, it will ask to enter password. And yep, it opens. If I want to make some changes to PDF, you'll need to enter the permission password so that it will give access. You can also manage signatures from here. You can add the existing digital ID or you can create new ID. Set up the file, enter your name, fill the details and save. The current PDF document will be signed based on my system admin permission, also by date. Everything will be set. Here in this free edition, they offer five gigs of cloud storage. You can save your important documents to the PDF Element Cloud, or you can even any other important document. And also one more good thing. The Wondershare PDF Element 11 tool is also available for mobile version for both Android and iOS devices with a user-friendly interface alongside with the same powerful AI features. You can capture PDF, do comment, add signature, you can edit PDF and a lot more useful. All right. Well, that was a quick look at how simple and intuitive it is to work with PDFs using PDF Element 11. Again, to get this software and download it for free, be sure to use the link in the description. To watch more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.